So this lesson is going to be on mass concentration and molar concentration. So as we talk about in the lesson on solutions and number concentration, concentration is defined as the amount of constituent uh, per an amount of volume. And number concentration is defined as the number of entities per an amount of volume. But that's only applicable for a system with a, a very small number of constituents. In practice in chemistry, uh, that is usually not the case because you usually will be dealing with a very large number of entities. So you will be more often using mass and molar concentration instead. So mass concentration is defined as the mass of a constituent Mi divided by the volume of the mixture uh, V. And molar concentration is defined, it's similar to the number concentration, but the amount of constituent uh, is represented in moles instead of um, number because there are just too many of them. So let's do a question. Say you put 2.1 grams of sucrose in a cup and fill the cup with water until the 1.5 liter mark. Let's calculate the mass concentration and the molar concentration of this uh, solution. So the mass concentration of sucrose in this solution is equal to the mass uh, of constituent, which is 2.1 grams, divided by um, amount of volume, which is 1.5 liters, which is equal to 1.4 grams per liter. So this is the mass concentration of sucrose. It tells you that for every liter, um, of this solution, you get 1.4 grams of sucrose. Now, let's calculate the molar concentration of sucrose. So, the molar concentration of sucrose in this solution is equal to the number of moles of constituents divided by the corresponding amount of volume. Uh, we know that the volume is 1.5 liters, so but we don't know the number of moles of sucrose. So we do need to calculate that first. All right, so how do we do that? First, uh, you would need the molar mass of sucrose, which is 342.3 grams per mole. Now, the number of moles of sugar in 2.1 grams of sucrose is uh, 6.1 times 10 to the minus three moles. So we got our um, number of moles of sucrose. Now we have all the ingredients that we need to calculate the molar concentration of the sucrose solution that we made. C equal N divided by V. So that's equal to 4.1 um, times 10 to the negative three. And the unit, as you can see from the calculation, it is small divided by liters, so the unit is small per liter. There's an also another unit for this, which is practically mean the same thing, and it's molar. So I would say that this is equal to 4.1 times 10 to negative three molar. Uh, the symbol is big M. So you will quite often see people use this uh, unit to represent the molar concentration, but you should know that it translates to more per liter. 